Hey free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So there is something that I need to show you guys which I noticed on my phone. I didn't notice this before. So the thing is, for the emergency request, I believe we can actually get multiple copies of Yamato. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take because collect eight different keepsakes to sign a contract with the request keeper. Each round of a contract offers eight different keepsakes and signing a contract with the request as well will unlock the next round of a contract. So essentially this means we can definitely get a multiple copies of Yamato. I think this is what it means. Whether or not we can get R6, that's a completely different story. And I'll do the math for you in a separate video. Uh, just know that 5 requests is 500 and we need 25 requests in order to PT one of the keepsakes, right? So for today's video, <laughs> a lot of you guys have already summoned, I guess. Or some of you guys are holding. That's completely up to you and that's completely fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and summon. Now I've saved 111 gold records ever since the 2nd of May where we had our previous update patch and I spent all 800 summons on that day. So ever since then, free to play, 111 gold records were obtained. I think that's not bad given a span of 3 weeks, none of which came from my Nexus crystals at all. So some of you guys might also be wondering right, like, they're free to play, why are you using my gold records? And the reason why I'm using my gold records is so that if I do get maybe an R7 Esper for example, I'm able, okay, Legendary Esper, I'm able to get those Mono Prisms, right? And I can exchange the Mono Prisms for more Shimmer Records. And you guys already know why we are getting our Shimmer Records. So we're definitely going to get at least one Legendary over here because we have more than 100. And the PT, the hard PT is at 100. So, very nice. Yes, finally we got Bardon. Because clearly Bardon is going to have his second Awakening over here, right? 68 more summons to go, can we break PT within like the next 20 pulls or so? If we can break PT, there is a good chance that we can get uh, two legendaries or a really good chance that we can get two legendaries based on whatever resources that we have left because the average is about 60 plus summons per legendary. Okay, we have 80 more summons. Come on, pray, 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 pray hard, pray hard. Oh my god, I'm lagging so much because of the updates. All the different updates that we have right now. Like just everything that is being downloaded on the back end. Oh nice! Nice nice nice! Finally, Laura Rezo! I think this is an R6 Laura right now. Very nice. Finally! We sealed the deal! And I think I still have uh, Daniel pieces which I don't think we can obtain right now. Daniel resonances. Uh, there are other resonances as well. Uh, some of those which I don't think we can obtain right now I think. So I think for the most part I have every single Esper in the game right now. Okay come on please. We need to break the PT right here. We need to break it. Now! <laughs> Damn it! Okay, so we missed the average. So in order for us to get two legendaries, we need to be super lucky. Uh, yeah, I'm just banking on either getting an R6 Tangshen, an R1 Tangti, R2 Ethan, uh, R1 Ethan as well, or just getting an R7 Duke, just so that we can get more Shimmer Records this way. Nice! Yes, I believe this, we, we definitely broke the PT over here. We definitely broke. Hoping to get one of those that I mentioned, or maybe a couple of legendaries. Okay, only one. That's fine, that's fine. I wasn't expecting much anyway. But yeah, just to give you guys an idea of how many records we can actually obtain. I, I've done a video on this before. Uh, this is going to be R1 Intisa, I think. Which is not much. She's not going to be that. This, this pool is definitely not valuable at all. Only when she's at R2 or when she's at R6, then yes. Very valuable. 40 more. <coughs> 40 more summons to go. 31 more summons to go. Last 20 summons. And our final 10. Should I even do my, my last single? I wonder. RIP! Okay, maybe I'll just drop my last single so that we have a zero, zero records left and then I can recalculate how many gold records we can get uh, every single month again, free to play. Last single pool. Right, RIP. At least you get an epic, which is like just a few dial prisms. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm feeling it a little bit. I think we should drop... Uh, wait, 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 what? I think we should drop a few more summons, okay? Let's let's just go for like, I don't know, maybe two more legendaries. All right, 100 summons, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. We can do this, we can do this. We can break our poor luck streak right now. And I say poor, it's just that we are slightly below the average. That's about it. We are actually doing okay. Okay, we got nothing. And can we get something? Nothing again. Okay, we are 20 summons away from our heart pity. Yeah, so we are actually a little bit... Okay, nice. We are below average by about 20 pulls per legendary or something like that about there who do we get who do we get who do we get who do uh r2 height sedge okay we have another 60 more summons so by right on average we should be able to hit that mark we should be able to hit the 60 mark and get our legendary long run average that is 50 more summons to go last 40 summons oh and another thing is if we hit a Mateo here then that's perfect we don't have to use our wish stones nice we broke super freaking early very nice if we get a Mateo, we don't need to use him. Uh, use the Wish Stones to get him at least. So that's that's another win for us. Please be a Tangshen. Please please be a Changchi, Ethan, and a Mateo. Oh my god. 
R2 Intisa, okay, fine. I, I it kind of works out, I guess. Kind of works out for us. Not too bad, not too bad. 20 more pulls, I'm not really expecting any... <laughs> I just said... Okay, Tangxuan, Changji, Ethan, Mateo. One of these four. Now, I've tested the withering whatever boss, right? And it seems like Mateo is probably going to be quite important because of his speed lead. Oh my god, this is so fail. <laughs> but I think I probably have her at R6 right now, which means her AoE third skill will no longer miss, which I think is okay. She's not really that much into the meta right now, but I guess it might kind of make a little bit of sense if I want to run her on like uh, in a control team, I guess. But honestly, I think Palmy is probably a little bit better than TA right now, but yeah. It is what it is. It is a free, uh, free resonance anyway. So yeah, last 10 pool and we didn't get anything. Okay, so <laughs> for the highlight of today's video, <laughs> we are going to do some Shimmer Records. But of course, before that, we should just go ahead and... Uh, Zora, right? Uh, we should go ahead and get our first copy of Mateo. I still feel like he's really worth it, even though they, they changed up how uh, Celestial normally works right now by in introducing the power boost, which I, I honestly, I don't really like to see it. It, it kind of takes away from the whole prospect of building your team because the power spike goes up way too fast right which means that whatever synergies that you're trying to build is not going to matter um, very quickly so it's still going to be very possible for you to use other kinds of experts and not Mateo and you could still probably do really well regardless but of course I'll cover this in a separate video now <laughs> the reason why we are doing Shimmer Records is obviously because of 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 her and uh, I do not have enough records right here so I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, free to play it out from the plaza <laughs> please. Oh my god, please, please give me a Shen Bin. Okay, for the first time in my entire account's lifespan, this is the first time I'm doing a 10 times spin. Perfectly down to my last 10 summons as well. Oh my god. X. <laughs> P. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh wow! Shima Legendary! 50% chance, by the way, 50% of 50% chance of uh Shen Pin. The rest are all blues, obviously. Oh my god, my heart is pumping so high right now. <laughs> my heart is pumping so high right now. 50% chance. Oh my god, those are not good rates. Those are not good rates. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, those are not good rates. Uh, not feeling it, not feeling it, not feeling it. <laughs> Shit. Uh. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, uh, uh, Feels super freaking illegal to have both Shenpin and Nusi on the same account. Honestly, it feels super... Like, that, that is not supposed to happen. That is basically not supposed to happen. I guess that's it for this video. I'm, I'm really taken aback right now. I'm seriously taken aback right now. I don't even know how to react to this. I mean, I, I did spend good money on, on those records, so... But, oh my god, shit. Now, the reason why I really want to get Shenpin is obviously because she's broken, that's number one. But number two, I want to expose just how broken she really is. And it's a great thing that I have on my account, and I can abuse everything on my- Oh my god, wait, hold on. Did I just roll the perfect RNG? <laughs> I rolled the perfect RNG! Hey, but anyway, I want to showcase just how freaking disgusting she is, and why- you know, the changes to a kit by nerfing her horse down to 25%, it is not exactly enough in terms of PvE content. I mean, like, if you're just talking about PvE, the nerfing is okay, but if you're going to talk about PvP and just generically other content because of, like, how insane this skill is and everything else in her kit, I'm going to mess around with her for a little bit, not in that way. Not in that way. And I'm going to make a separate video just to cover how freaking disgusting she is and really why she is a problem. Like, she's like the Gaius 2.0 in terms of how the game is right now. Like, back then when Gaius was first launched, he completely decimated the game. The, the problem with Gaius is that a lot of players want to have him, but they cannot get him. And because of that, they feel like they're lacking out in some sense. They feel like they don't want to play because they didn't get Gaius. And because, you know, Gaius is just like destroying everything. So it's really unfair to a lot of these players when they don't get him. Or they just feel like, you know, there's really no point playing when they don't get a really broken Esper. The same is true for Shampin as well. So aside from Shampin, who else have her kind of broken kit, right? So she has five things in her kit. Actually, six things in her kit that increases DPS. She has her horse buff, her chariot buff, her soldier buff, her cannon buff, her attack buff on her third skill. And finally, the AoE defense break on her second skill. It is remarkably insane. There are six different ways that she can increase your DPS output. The next best alternative is actually an Ashley with an attack up buff and true damage in her kit. Like, that's it. 
That is the next best Esper in terms of damage output. This is why Champagne, okay, at least this is part of the reason why Champagne is overblown. Like, she's way too good in this one regard. But yeah, anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. I'm not smiling because I'm still taken aback for the fact that I got her. So I really apologize about it. But I hope to see you guys in the next video.